Hey guys, Jack Spirico here. We're at the uh, Timber Frame Pond uh, for just a minute. I got my highly tactical dart knife, Doug Marcardia design. It's ever not using it for tactical use today. We're using it for cutting broccoli. If we're going to be cutting broccoli, we got to be enjoying ourselves. We got a nice yingling beer I brought back from Tennessee. Hold on a second, and I'll show you what we're doing here. Cheers. Anyway, so I just cut my last big broccoli head. As you can see, the broccoli's getting out ahead of me a little bit. I did lose a couple of the big heads this year because I took a trip right when it was really coming into harvest. But uh, that will be damn good tonight. We're cooking a whole chicken tonight. We'll have some broccoli with it. I'll show you why I'm going to be eating broccoli unless I get off my butt and do some blanching and freezing almost every day uh, for the next few weeks until I finally give up with the summer heat. Okay, that plant right there, I cut the central head off of this plant four days ago. And in four days, it's thrown up these one, two, three, four, five secondaries. There's another one right back there. Okay. And that's almost as much broccoli. It's probably more broccoli than to get off the initial head. This one here I cut about a week ago. And then I cut it two days ago for stir fry. And I cut as, at least as much as is on this one off of this one. And it's already got a new head that when I cut that tomorrow, I'll probably have to cut this. And I'll have to climb through here and see what else needs to be cut. Most of this was just cut, so it's just starting to send up secondaries. But I mean, even here, there's already some more forming, like right there. That is another broccoli head coming off the same plant. And what happens, you get in the warm part of the year and you cut that first nice big centerpiece, these plants start throwing these secondary shoots up really, really fast. And uh, you might have to cut every single day and check through your plants and whenever they get big like this you need to cut them i'm gonna let that go to tomorrow it's gonna be a little bit open tomorrow more open than it is already what i'll do is i'll come out first thing in the morning i'm in the afternoon now uh i'll come out first thing in the morning and cut that and any of the other big ones for tomorrow and i'll just keep doing that until uh it will get hot enough that really the broccoli will probably give up but i don't know that um, I've never had broccoli do this good in Texas this late in the year for me. You can see this one was just recently cut too. So it hasn't even started setting up secondaries yet. Being in this wicking bed and keeping that root zone cool, uh, I've never seen broccoli quite this happy. Especially when you consider I got nine plants in one 50 gallon bed with a bunch of kale on the other side of it. Uh, and look at the, uh, in the other bed, look at the, uh, the size of those uh, nasturtiums in that. Uh, just starting to put the first flowers on for me and what have you. Anyway, that's what I'm up to right now. I got a bunch more stuff to do today. I'm working on a new build and I got some other plants to tend to. There are trees to plant. Oh, there's never enough time in the day, but there's always time for chopping broccoli.